In this video, I have the base animation that I brought in, which is basically my A pose that I brought in from uh, from uh, AccuRig, and I want to kind of create custom animations with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I created a sequence, and I've dropped this character in the uh, world outliner, and I'm just going to go and get, grab him. I just went and got my outliner out, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to uh, cinematic level sequence and I'll create a sequence and I'll open that and what I want to do is drag my exo character in there and what I want to do is under the track I'm going to click on this and under control rig I'm going to create an FK control rig so just like that um, so I'm not familiar enough with this yet so I'm not going to play with it uh, what I want to show you is that it created basically all the bones down here and now what you need to do is experiment with the ones that you think you can play around with um, and I'm going to do something with a second here looking for the neck I think so let's pop this open and let's just see so sometimes you'll see no that's the wrong bone you can't use that one and this is right out of Accurig, so you have to kind of, if one character does it this way, the others should do it. Give me a second here. So, for example, I know the neck works on these Accurig characters. So the more you play around with this, the better you're going to get. So what I want to do is I want the neck from my character to pop out and look both ways and go down. And I'm going to bake that animation so I can use it in my animation sequences currently this is not an animation sequence you're just using this to make your animation okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click a keyframe at the beginning this is where i want to start i would like it to go up okay so before i do that i'm going to go just click Control z here and i'm going to say possibly i'm going to change this to seconds to make it a little simpler for me to understand so at about this distance i'm going to make the neck go all the way up so like that and let's just see if that worked yes and i'm going to click that here so it can stay up there a little longer and i'm going to go and at this point i want to just rotate so you're going to see here rotate there's the the one i think we need is roll so roll means it goes here but before you do that don't forget to click your keyframe so we're going to just say I want, before I do the roll, this is what where it was originally. And where I want it to go at about a second is like that. And then maybe he looks both ways. And let's go here. Roll the other way. And I'll just show you a quick way to go back to normal is just to zero this out. Just click zero, enter. Let's enter and it zeroes it out and I'm going to do the same thing to make the head go back down I'm going to just click here move the thing forward like I did click zero press enter and let's check out our animation so we just created some kind of really funky animation you could do some simple stuff like just move his arms thought we'd have a little bit of fun with that so now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to go uh, right click bake and it big pose let me get give me a second here so what i want to do is right click bake to animation sequence i always get confused and think it's asset but it doesn't create uh an animation if you do an asset it creates uh, something else that i'm not even sure what it does i'll figure it out i suppose so i'll go head pop or something give it a name that will be easy to identify and maybe your, your students have something in mind and now what we're going to do is, now this was used to create, you, we probably could delete all this and, you know, go to our sequence that we're going to use for our video. And let's just, we use it to create basically this animation that we can use in any of our sequences later on. Okay, so that's how you create a basic control rig and uh, export and bring that in for a uh, editing in your future sequencer. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.